Hey guys, it's Gavin at Go Distant, and today is going to be part two of my seven day thing where I'm doing all American political stuff all the time. And so today I'm going to be talking about the House Representatives and kind of like the overall thing. And once again, I'm going to be doing it in so that way Britain people can understand what the heck is going on here. Anyway, today, uh, today, like I said, is going to be about the House of Representatives. A little bit of background above it. It was the second part of the uh, Congress, which I went over this first part yesterday, which was the Senate. And it was kind of intended to be for the people, by the people, and of the people. It has more people, and it's entirely based on population, so that way people have more of a say. That's what it was intended for. Um, in Britain terms, it's more or less kind of the equivalent of your House of Commons, but not really quite the same thing. Uh, the Democrats have hold, held both the House and the Senate since 2006. Now this year, it looks uh, certain that the Democrats are going to take at least 11 seats away from the Republicans. For one reason or another, uh, namely, um, the Republicans have uh, been saying a couple of bad things and just different things around there. Um, also, there's been a little bit more of a Democratic push, uh, seeing as how people have been fed up with the Bush administration. Um, now we're going to. It looks like we're going to take those seats, uh, barring a Democrat saying something really dumb or dying. Now um, there's a couple of seats, namely 23, that are really, really close. They're held by Republicans, and there's 23 of them that Democrats could take. Could maybe it's going either way. Um, Democrats might take a lot of them if Barack Obama wins, because that's going to show a lot of voter turnout and it's going to be helping out with uh, that race. Um, beyond that, there's 32 seats that Republicans hold, but are more or less in contention. But more, but more, it's looking to go Republican in in that way. Uh, those 32 seats are probably going to remain in Republican standing. Um, there are a total of four seats uh, that Democrats hold right now that they could lose. Uh, for one reason or another, uh, the most funny one is a senator from Pennsylvania, Western Pennsylvania. You don't really have to know where they are from if you're in Britain. Just know one of our uh, one of our congressmen, sorry, uh, said that his cons uh, the people who he represent are racist. So, but he's actually looking to win. There are only two of the four seats that Democrats are looking to lose. Uh, will they probably lose? Um, overall. 19 seats are probably going to go to the Democratic side, and that's going to be including the 11 seats that I've already mentioned, and some of those 23 seats. Actually, the majority of those 23 seats. And the why I say the why I say the majority of those 23 seats is because Barack Obama has had a strong push. He has a really good ground game, and beyond that, uh, the way that the House of Representatives, uh, the races have been looking, it's been it started out very Republican and has been progressing to be more Democratic. Uh, people that were uh, it, uh, looked to be a lot more uh, Republican holds than there was now the current. 32. So, uh, what I'm saying is giving a, a pretty good estimate of 19. Other people are giving uh, upwards of 20. Um, I'm saying that that will only happen if we can only get over 20 if Barack Obama gets elected. And the reason why I say that is because Barack Obama has been turning out voters like mad. The pro main problem with Democrats in the past is uh, the fact that they can't get to voters to go to the, uh, to the booths. Barack Obama has changed all that and is getting voters to come out a lot. So if you see Barack Obama gets elected, you'll probably see a lot more people voting, uh, getting up in the House of Rep Representatives. The problem is, even if we get all those seats, um, the House of uh, the House will not be uh, democratically two thirds majority. Why they would need two thirds majority is if they had that uh, two thirds in both the Senate and in the House of Representatives, then they can override any president on any legislature they want. Um, they're not going to get that. Uh, period. Um, there's no way Republicans hold way too many incumbencies uh, to, for Democrats to be able to even touch that two thirds majority. But if we can hold more seats, and if uh, we do, and if Democrats do a good job in the next four years, um, actually the next two years really, then we can probably hold a lot more seats um, and maybe eventually reach that two-thirds majority. Overall, it does hinge on Barack Obama winning the election. If he does, um, I'm not saying that Barack Obama is going to like, is the catalyst, but he's really the thing, he's like the figurehead of the Democratic Party. For both the Senate and for the how House of Representatives, Barack Obama is going to be your major barometer. So if you're overseas, if you see Barack Obama win, then there's going to be a lot of Democrats Democratic turnout, and there's going to be a lot more liberal uh, control of the U.S. government. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you tomorrow.